Pizza Hut is getting into the wine business. <laughs> and you might be thinking, oh, they're going to start selling wine at Pizza Hut. Uh, no. Nope. And that would be wild enough, actually. <laughs> but they're not doing that. Pizza Hut has actually partnered with Irvine's Just Beyond Paradise Winery to create pizza-flavored wine. And what makes it pizza-flavored? First of all, it's not made with grapes, as would be typical, of course. Mm -hmm. um, it's made with tomatoes, which does make sense if you're making a pizza wine. That doesn't mean that it's a good idea. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then, doesn't this sound delicious? A wine, a tomato wine flavored with hints of fresh basil leaves, oregano, and even garlic. Mmm, <laughs> garlic wine! Garlic. It also has uh, notes of oak wood to recall the roasty taste of freshly baked crust. Interesting. Yeah. Where's the cheese, though? <laughs> Yeah, that's a good question. I guess, isn't cheese and wine like something that go together? That's so right. Maybe you, you provide the it. cheese. Yeah, you provide the cheese. Yeah. You want some, yeah. What do people always say? You want some wine, cheese with that wine? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Do people say that? Uh, I don't know. People always used to say that when I was a child <laughs> okay. and an adult. Um, <laughs> I, you know, I guess maybe this could be a good thing. Okay. Because... If you can replace your pizza eating habits with wine drinking habits, think of all the calories you would save. You'd have to be in better shape. Mm, yeah, maybe. Mm -hmm. I mean, does wine have a lot less calories? It's got to. Less fat. Less Definitely fat. Less fat. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's got what are the what is the positive of drinking wine? Like you drink a glass of wine a day, it's got what your antioxidants or something. I've heard that that that's part of it, but I've also heard that it's something where it's like it can make you relax and chill mm. out, and so you're you don't need to take as many like you know if you're a person that ha deals with you know struggling to fall asleep at night, you uh -huh. would need to take like melatonin pills or something. Sure. I've heard that mm. instead of wine. Yeah, oh, like wine you, would, you would replace <laughs> you would replace taking pills, uh, you know, or like a prescription or something. Uh, you would replace that with. So what you're saying is now this is a triple whammy. You, <laughs> instead of alcohol, pizza, and melatonin, <laughs> you just get it all from the wine. I guess is I think what Ali is definitely saying here. <laughs> there, I guess at the end of the day, it makes sense that they're doing this. Okay, because of all those reasons. <laughs> We're more health conscious people now mm -hmm. than we used to be, and Pizza Hut understands that, and they don't want their pizza business to go out the window. So they have to be, they have to maneuver, they have to change things up how they do business, and they're doing that by making wine, making wine, pizza wine, pizza wine. I, I don't know if this is really like the successful way to run your business. Uh, you know, if this really is a good branch off idea, but mm -hmm. but I I don't don't hate it. I guess so. Food fight. No. You don't want to have wine on the show <laughs> probably. early in the morning that <laughs> tastes like pizza? Yeah, no thanks. All right. While you're here, you should watch more of our videos and subscribe so you don't miss what we do next.